everyone, it's Kasha from Tarot Map. Oh my god, look what arrived. Yes, yes, it's in my hands now. <laughs> That's to Onyx and I also received from the gorgeous Anne from our For Love of Cards group. Thank you so much. Um, the Marciano Tarot as well. I haven't actually looked for, for, through the cards yet because um, I went to the park, you know, when I was coming back from the post office and I just pulled the book out and um, I read this beautiful introduction by Courtney Alexander when she um, speaks about invocation and she said like, write to your ancestors, guide, spiritual court, angels, higher deities or other spiritual entities you reverence. And this deck is not for me, it's for you. It's the only befitting that you let your love and gratitude be known in your own language. Take a moment to create a sacred space that could be a place of solitude in your home, in a park or even in your car. Take 60 seconds to breathe deeply and ground yourself. Then write a prayer or message from your heart to honor those who've guided you, whether you are named or without name. When, whether they are named or without name, you can write directly on this page, slip of paper, or even stick a large post note in here. So I'm going to do it right now before I show the cards and I'm going to think swap the camera so we can see the cards in detail uh, but um, yeah I just have the sense like I want to do it so bear with me I'll be back in a second So let's go. So what I'm going to show you today is Dust to Onyx deck. And if you watch my channel, you know how much of a issue I had with getting this deck and I pre-ordered it and it didn't happen and blah, blah, blah. Long story cut short. Finally, a beautiful <laughs> and from our uh, group for love of cards on Facebook. She has actually purchased two copies on Kickstarter so she swapped with me and I managed to finally after giving up on it receive the first edition of Dust to Onyx. So the first edition comes in this magnetic box which is like opalescent you know reminds me a little bit of Fountain Tarot um, It actually it's beautiful and Oops, my Auli. And this is the, um, I think, number 813 out of a thousand. And it's signed by Courtney. So I haven't seen the cards yet. We know that they come in kind of a took up compartment box. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this box uh, for storage. Probably. I mean, I'm going to keep the box, but probably I'm not going to store my cards in it. Um, the deck comes with this beautifully hardcover uh, published um, book. Um, it actually has this type, uh, you know, when you touch it, it has texture on it. So it's like um, those little dots are kind of raised. And it's, you know, it's that... Um, shiny good quality paper so as i said that was this invocation and this is a message from courtney also from the ancestors uh, how she was guided and then we have table of contests contents so uh, we get you know f a major arcana uh, we got elementals here and all the minor arcana and then also faces which is the the code cuts right so um, it's acknowledgements which she goes through um, and then we go through introduction Table of Ancestors, Developing the Bond. Then she goes through numerological keywords, through faces. So she's changed. Uh, she's changed the court card. So there is 
page is a little or lil a young is knight papa is king and mama is queen and it's funny that papa king is the initiative so action principle enterprise recognition leadership like sacred masculine and mama is the authority awareness creativity nurturing empowerment and power that's how the patriarchal and matriarchal uh, society is very so yes male were from the active stuff but authority was with females yeah so then we have elemental keywords for the elements and astrological terms even and then there is some spreads and uh, um, ideas and then we go into the major arcana we get the uh, color reproduction how she what what uh, was used in creating the painting and then we have a few pages or one page yes one page of information for each of the major arcana and then when we go to the minors it's exactly the same so then it just goes to faces so the court cuts at the end uh, and yeah and so there's Courtney and artist statements so that's it the book that's quite beautiful for um yeah for this deck it's amazing quality and then we have the deck so i'm going to pull it out from these two bags mm. oh it's gorgeous so the deck this was just an extra card that i kind of took away can you focus here yes you can so this is an extra card um, this is the artist card, Melanated Tarot deck, Carl Courtney Alexander, and first edition. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. So now, oh, let me check, maybe I can, do I want to reduce that? Yeah, that's better. Okay, so, how should we do it? We do it like this, is it better? <clears throat> Maybe I just like put this here so I know where we are. Okay, so um just one sec. This is better, I think. Yeah. So she's changed some names of the cards, and let's just say that this is gold gilding like star child or sacred creators oracle is this old gold it's not the you know shiny shiny gold so it's gorgeous oh my god these cards are stunning so here we have um the emerging one so this is the full and i don't know you can probably see through the light so um she added these elements that are shiny in a different texture and this is the bags and the cards feel very kind of smooth and buttery and then you have this texture where there is this uv spotting so this is the emerging one and then we have the conjurer And, and you can see these elements that are different, that are added. So this is a magician. It's called, it looks like sunglasses, but it's the eternity sign. Wow, the high priestess is the shaman. Love her. Yeah, and this it's textured. This feels a little bit like snake skin. <clears throat> Queen Mother is the Empress, very voluptuous, fertile, abundant, full of milk, full of nourishment. The chief for the Emperor. Hmm. It's also kind of, to me, this looks a little bit like the shadow of the Emperor as well, what you can do. Um, Wow. Sorry, I'm just like trying to 
see these spots. So that's the more the higher fund. Lovers. The rider. So the chariot. Strength. <laughs> that reminds me of the artist of Courtney, maybe that self-portrait. I love it. The eternity also has the kind of glasses, the lion here. It's kind of like this integration of it. Oh, that's lovely. The hermit, just the look at hermit's face. It's stunning. And the Wheel of Fortune. Justice. It's very collagey. I love the Auli here. And the Justice is kind of like it looks at you, but uh, yeah, when you kind of look at it, it's kind of like looking through you, not really at you. Which is the justice is often the justice is kind of sense. Suspension is for the hangman. Death. Beautiful. Oh my god, these cards are amazing. Temperance. Mm, that's interesting. Temptation is for devil. I love it. It's very kind of modern. Tower. Oh, very color colorful, very busy, different textures, different pieces of things. So it's like, you know, chaotic but also creative erupting with this uh, potential for creating something unusual something different from all these pieces but also potential for chaos right the star oh, this is like a this is somebody it's like a person suspended in the bubble Maybe, I don't know, she feels like she's sending healing to that person or... Yeah, it's strange. To me, it's the first um, thing was... But also could be... It's not a fetus, like fetus uh, or a baby, but it seems like a womb. Maybe she's imagining creating something or sending healing to this or healing... Yeah, I will have to sit with it. Oh, that moon card when I saw it. Stunning. Oh. The sun. Like seriously, this deck is amazing. Whatever she's done to it, it's like incredible. And this inner child also here, I love that take. And judgment oh, also when I saw this. Judgment. The eyes and the butterfly. Big one, and the universe. That's a round thing on the chest, like that connection, like you one with everything, and it's still changing. So then we have blades, and I think this is the um, swords, like swords, ace of blades. Coloring is stunning in this deck. Two of blades. So the ma maj majors are very kind of easy recognizable. With the minors, it's a little bit different. Um, I think the book uses... Is this like Rider with Smith? Let's just see the two of blades, for example. So what do we get here is... Um, Awakened, it's mental balance, naturality, compromise, truth, objectivity, and dormant energy when it's indecision, stagnancy, denial, passivity, and paradox. So it's definitely two of swords, right? Because we can recognize it. And then as we move through the new energy of the Ace of Blades, 
I love when they connect cards in the books. We come out of the tunnel of light into the night. This is it's in this place that we now weigh the opposing forces in our lives. We gain our footing again and to do so we must dance with the spirit within. It's during this time of quietness and stillness we are most receptive to the ideas and insights that come forth. Under a waning crescent, a, sh a shaman stands. So she connects also this to number two, which is high priestess, which is shaman in this deck. I love that. The swords in her in each hand stay poised and ready at the shaman's side for the moment action must be taken. For now it's simply a time to receive. The shaman takes on a higher persona that eases communication with those in other dimensions. Instead of being blinded, they dress in a way that facilitates higher connection. Just as we think of objectivity as mentally removing our emotions, the same can be said of the spiritual, where the individual ego is put to the side so downloads from higher realms are without interference. Two of Blades comes up as a challenge for us to really think about um, the decisions we are making. We may be stuck running in a circle in our minds that is inhibiting us from making a choice or sticking to it. It's fine to take time and consider as many facets as possible, but we must strike a balance lest we find ourselves um, running on the mental hamster wheel going nowhere. It's also important during this time to keep our emotions in check. This is the quiet before the storm and the best time to put ourselves in a state of equilibrium before one set, be, before the onset of new challenges. So definitely she bases the information on the Rider Wade Smith um, deck uh, and the meanings of the cards. Love the moon here. So it's the stillness and shaman. So then we have three of blades, which is three of swords, four of blades. And I've had somebody said that, yeah, they have to, like, you have to look at these pictures, like, uh, in an art gallery. When you take it too close, you don't really recognize what's going on. You have to, like, take take a stand, like, see it from a distance first, see what's going on. So there's four people walking with the blades, right? Um, and then we have five of blades, so five of swords. You can uh, start seeing that suffering kind of going on. Six of blades, and now here, what's going on here? This is like a person carrying, I think, the blades and moving um, forth with them. Seven of blades, there's a person carrying six blades, and seven is here, but people are sitting in front here. So it's, yeah, it's interesting take, modern, different take on Rider Waite Smith deck. Eight of blades, eight of swords. Either not seeing this, but also this, you know, being attached or limited by your lineage, by what was happening to your people. Um, not feeling like you can free yourself of that heritage. Nine of Blades. Wow. This is like gorgeous art. I feel like I'm in the art gallery right now. And Ten of Blades. And then we have the little blade, little blade, like little blade. So page, young blade, knight, papa blade, and mama blade, the authority of blades. Wow. So then we have coins. So this is ace of coins. You kind of have the coin in the face. <laughs> Two of coins. I love this coloring. So two of coins, um, three of coins, this females holding that vase, so that's cooperation, four of coins, maybe stabilizing yourself with the stick, walking stick, <laughs> five of coins, what's this? Um, okay, I think this is uh, like a boat with immigrants. So this is also quite a political deck. So I think this is a boat with immigrants packed with people moving uh, through the sea. You know, coins are being lost in the froth here. Um, so basically this is distraction. I mean, this, this stressful situation, crisis, right? Six of coins 
as like just the moon dropping coins into the sea that's interesting I've got to sit with this one seven of coins is this a person <laughs> definitely this is a monkey maybe it's a monkey mind kind of keeping your monkey mind in check uh, giving yourself space to sit with it, like ground your idea. Eight of coins. And this is this elaborate kind of plates, maybe making it, you know, happen on your head in uh, <clears throat> interweaving what you know, like your skills. Nine of coins. <laughs> She's happy, right? And ten of coins. And that's like holding, hands holding coins, so stability and this kind of, yeah, I've got it, I've done it. And then we have court cards, little coin, um, young coin, papa coin, mama coin. <clears throat> I've got to move on because my camera is dying. So this is Ace of Gourds and that's Cups. And I love this water kind of leaking. I think this is this UV spotting. So then we have Two of Gourds, Two Cups, Two Hands, one pouring into the other, Three of Gourds, Three people happy, lots of water, Four of Gourds, Five of Gourds, Six. So that's the stability, kind of, yeah, we did it together. Some beautiful kind of greenery happening, so they achieved something. Harmony, Seven of Gourds, that big face, can you see it? And then like this imagery of Seven of um, Cups, not Coins. Eight of gods, eight of cups, nine of cups. That's like flowing through you, and ten of cups. Total like emerging, like everything is flowed. But it's also this community feel, like we all uh, use this. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, little god, love this. That's Knight, Young God, in Knight of Cups, Papa and Mama. So I love how the faces are kind of transgender. And this is stuff, so wands, fire probably. I have to check because I didn't check the associations, but I think it's fire. Two of stuffs, <laughs> you're trying, new walk, new skill, new something. Three, it's... um connecting something it starts to blossoming but you still may be protective of it a little bit four it's just this togetherness tribal feel five as well five of stars but like you're protecting something maybe six of stars it seems like seven of stars a, a little bit what's the seven of stars okay so here he's like victorious and he's maybe that's fun and here he's a bit more protective of what um of what he was creating of his idea and here we have eight of stuff so eight of wands shooting nine quite egyptian kind of feel to this one and ten of wands also with this isis here but that's kind of feels like very like you're successful, a lot of fire, you go with the force. And then we have Lil stuff, young stuff, Knight of Wands, Papa stuff, he's cute, and Mama stuff. Wow, so this is Dust to Onyx. And let's see how it shuffles. I haven't, as you see, shuffled it yet. So now maybe I will give myself some more space. <clears throat> Put the stones back and let's see. So it shuffles beautiful. You can refill shuffle it if you want. I think, you know, it's still quite stiff, the cards, but... 
it's it's going to loosen up a bit um, one more time and then we put three cards out just for the sake of how does it look when you put the cards out together so let's just take a look so we get ace of it's closer now <laughs> ace of wands and then let's just maybe split it five of wands and one more and five of blades Ooh. so here we get that stuff it's like a weapon but it's very creative right it's this burst of color and it even could be like an instrument of something like it's like freeing something up and then we have this protective attitude at the five of stuffs but we have this um continuation of growth of that fire energy into five and then we also have five of blades so maybe understanding what we protecting or protecting that our initial idea from you know we don't speak about it too much we don't give out too much protecting it from people who won't um, pay respect to it like we didn't have any questions so I'm just like throwing some ideas into it so in a way it's um yeah, the cards look gorgeous together. So let's just put uh, one more, one more <laughs> into the stops. I'm like, keep just shuffling it, but two of blades, stops and blades, air and fire. That's all we get. <laughs> and four of blades. There you go. I want to pull some coins or something. Nine of blades. No, not given and 10 of stars <laughs> and the last one <laughs> ah the sun gorgeous okay so here you are dust to onyx tarot amazing 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 thank you for watching thank you Anne, for swapping with me you made me so happy and um Oh, actually, I just quickly want to show you also this um, Marziano Tarot, right? Because I got it also from Anne from the swap. And it's a deck by Robert M. Plains, uh, Place, the oldest known tarot deck, apparently from between 412, 425. It's got the, this is the bags. So this is Zeus. Um, Journal, so Hera probably, Pallas, Venus, Apollo, so these are gods like Neptune, Diana, so my Artemis, ooh, as chariot, awesome, Bacchus, Mercury, Mars, Vesta, Ceres, Echo, Iolo, Daphne, and Cupid, and then we have two king and queen of each suit and then we have each suit is from ace to I mean from one from ace to ten so these are eagles so it's a little bit different deck I haven't read anything about it yet because I just got it so I'm not going to go through all of them then we have a uh, phoenixes and then we have turtle doves And then we have doves, white doves. But it's beautiful. It's Robert and Place. You can't go wrong with his decks, can you? So also, thank you so much for this. Amazing. Okay, that's it. Thank you, everyone. And I speak to you soon. Bye.